you can't expect, in all fairness, any court to say, well, not only are you stuck with this debt, but she wants to get a new car. I just want back what was mine. You can't get it. It's gone. He would like the $6,000. This was all traded in so that everybody would have a safer, I assume, a safer car to ride. And you were riding around in a 12-year-old car. It ran. And... Now, I have proof that he gave me the Jeep and then he took it back. He can't give you the Jeep unless you have the title. Do you have the title? Did no, he, turn the title he's, he was over making you? payments on you it. You have no case, Miss Austin. There's no legal theory upon which I'm going to award you $5,000. May I say something? Sure. What Mr. Harden did, he had convinced her that she should trade in her vehicle. Initially, he was going to get her a new vehicle. It was his coercement that she trade in her vehicle. He is going to buy a new car for her and make the payments for her since she is carrying his child. Mr. Austin. Yes, ma'am. Your first mistake was to let him move in. And I understand, Agreed. and I understand why you let him move in. Believe me, you know, I've been in the family court business a very long time. You had a daughter who was unmarried and had a child. And it seemed like a nice young man who said to you, I will take the responsibility of your daughter and I will be a father to this two-year-old. And yes. you said, yes! It's, it's so, like you were That's exactly there. what happened. So you let him move in. And you didn't say to your daughter, listen, next time before this happens again, Think with your brain. Make yourself an independent person. Not having somebody else take care of you, take care of yourself. Yes, Nobody forces somebody not to work. Somebody who doesn't want to work is easily coaxed not into working. And nobody can convince you. You seem like a pretty straightforward guy. You had a 22-year-old daughter who already made a few mistakes. So then you say to her, you're not trading in that car. That car is a running car. If you trade in that car, you have to know if you let him buy a car and it's in his name, you're not married, you have no contract, the title is in his name, you have no car anymore. You're absolutely now, right. Absolutely Your correct. Honor. And he's the however. same age, not, not a however. Not a however. He, just like your daughter would be if she now had to go and buy a new car and put down a down payment and make payments, he has to deal with $6,600 that he owes as a direct result of trying to deal with everybody needing a car. She wants a car. She has no job, but she should have a car. You are correct, ma'am. However, uh, uh, he, oh, he did not, neither one of them actually had informed me that they were going to do this, and it wasn't until after the fact that they had traded in this vehicle she traded in her paid for car mm -hmm. originally they were going to get a, a vehicle for her he saw a very shiny new pickup which he chose to uh, get listen you weren't there you don't know you're hearing from your daughter what transpired i'm telling you there isn't a legal theory upon which she can saddle him with an additional five thousand dollars worth of debt they were two stupid people who made a baby and he's got a debt of six thousand dollars and if she wants to buy a new car she's going to have to get a job and save I up six thousand save up six thousand dollars and buy a car they will then each have a debt for six thousand dollars he doesn't have two cars he, he has had, one car he had two vehicles he goodbye sir you know exactly what i'm saying we're done here why did i excuse you may step out he left me when i was pregnant and took my car and now i have two kids i got text messages of her like trying to cheat on me and everything so before I left. A job and they want me to pay for my own car. It's kind of been bad because I feel that they use that against me. When I'm still paying for child support or daycare. To keep me from my daughter, so. And going to work and gas and finding a car is not gonna be easy. Hopefully, now that's over, I can actually be able to see my daughter. I hope he doesn't try to step in because I don't want a role model like him in her life.